Hello and welcome to the sixth in a set of tutorials for XFX Toolkit version 2, now with added object tracking. If you haven't got the plugin pack installed, please follow the link below. The next set of plugins called Shaders and Gloss can be found in the Titles browser and Effects browser. Let's start off with the two shaders in the Title Inspector, and if we drop Side Shade on this helicopter clip, we can see what happens is that it actually shades the edge of the clip. So we've got a dim here, you might be familiar with these controls again. And on screen we've got these two controls where we can control the edge and also where the effect goes to 100% of the setting. So from here to there is 100% and then we've got the grad to, to this control here. Now you can do you can do a dim, you can do a desaturation, uh, you can do a blur. So let's pump let pump the blur up, and you say, well, why why would you use this? Well, if you've got something like text and you can't read it over a bright or complicated, you know, busy background, then this is a great way to make that that stand out. So it's great for things like bullet points, um, logos, etc., to make them stand out. Um, one thing here, if you move the control points to the other way, it actually flips onto the other side. So there's not a left and right one. Um, it's just the same one does it, does it. You just have to move the control points on there. And as you'd expect, we've got the normal controls in the inspector, build in and build out and fade time so that you can time everything nicely and, and adjust it to suit your production. Now, you would think that side shade vertical is exactly the same, and it is exactly the same. This does a shade from the bottom or top depending on where you have this control and again you can put text on here so this one would be great for maybe something like putting a website or if you're doing youtube you know place something in the comments below anything where you want to get some text over a video uh, that could be complicated and it's it, it needs to be readable on there so that's side shade and side shade vertical and those are the two effects in the 60 ranges shaders and gloss in the title inspector Next we'll take a look at Sky Shader and you can probably tell from looking at the icon that does a very similar thing to the vertical shade but it puts a colour in as the grad on here. So here we go, you can actually see putting blue into the sky there. It's on multiply but by using the range of colours and the different blend modes you can get some different effects on there but we thought blue would be the, the most popular. And again you've got the controls as we have from the previous plugins being able to adjust that graduation down and up and get the type of effect you're looking for. So if you shoot some exteriors or helis and they're not that sunny you can kind of brighten them up a bit with the sky shader. On to a couple of my favourite plugins because they're so simple but do such a great effect and those are add gloss. Here you can see we've got some rather plain looking text and um, it's just red on black. If I add gloss you instantly get that 3D look on there as if it's got a big reflection on it. And we've got some on-screen controls, but I mean, it looks actually quite good like that. But this is important. This one does this line, which is important to give that effect. And then these two do the graduation. So the idea is that this control here has to be lower than the line to get an actual line on there. And then that's the top of the, of the grad, a bit too much there to do it. Again, in the inspector, you've got the color control and the opacity and the gradient controls on there. I actually like doing it with the on-screen controls. A great effect with, you know, that's one click, which is brilliant. Okay, just let me delete that and we'll put a gloss curve, which does the same thing, but it puts it on with a curve. And we've got to adjust this one because it's slightly out. But as you can see, instead of having a straight line across the uh, text, it does it with a curve. And you've actually got controls in here for the scale scale of the curve. So you can, if you've got a big logo, you can pull it, pull it down. But this is great for logos. So, you know, it gives it a lot of gloss and makes it look a lot better. If I turn it off, you know, the difference is quite amazing. And that's just with one click from the plugin. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at subtitles and countdowns and clocks.